welcome back to another video um this one was uh, a little bit of a like a trial or something if i can say so but um yeah i'll be using the nsx gtr gt group 3 actually if i, if I must say the nsx honda nsx and uh for this truck you know, i did a stream a few days ago on monday and uh, the truck was really tight as in it's a tight truck to, to race in because it has it, it has just long straights but uh, the overtaking possibilities are there but it's lame if you overshoot any of the corners you either go into gravel and you don't have that right you don't want that so yeah i'll be starting off the best car to use actually was the mclaren as you see there the f1 mclaren uh the gtr but also some cars are viable like the toyota supra or the mercedes but i decided to go with this car i haven't used it in a in a long time you see as you see there in the odometer it's only 40, 49 kilometers down in it but anyway off we go because um uh, i wanted to see how good it is probably it's it's a, it's a hidden gem yeah like most of the cars are but anyway three two one off we go we are racing at sardinia at the moment in truck c i believe if i'm not wrong uh going the right way as you see there mclaren coming in very hard as you see it's it's, it's a very uh, st good car on straights and um yeah tries to take as i get pointed a little bit on the on the rear end but i managed to keep it in control i wanted to try to do the whole race in cockpit view because it's been a long time i've not raced in cockpit view and i want to see if my pace is still up to up to par as i might say going off to the third fourth corner you see all up some people already having some penalties here and there it's all it's all really close racing down to p17 not really that bad but let's see i'm just going to if i am slow i'm not going to hold everyone up as we go d down to turn six i believe yeah that uh, blind corner as it's a uh, lexus behind us trying to pass as a, co as a corvette goes through as i said i'm not gonna hold anyone back if i'm slow but i'm just going to take my time and uh, see how this goes for sure it uh as i go a little bit wide there it's going to be interesting so down to p20 right so not so much of a race right now but just trying to keep up with them because i've seen them a little bit slow or probably they are on soft tires because we both because you have to use both actually you have to use the medium tires which i am on right now and uh i decided to start with it because i was in the back end of the lobby of the of the of the of the positions right and p20 p15 so there's no point of uh, using soft tires but uh let's say the next race i'm going to start with the soft tires accidentally but we'll uh we'll go to we'll get to that in a minute but anyway um getting on to the second lap you see some people who are serving their penalties there i think around five people and i went up to p15 oh but actually two people quit oh Maybe something happened, but I'm up to P15 where we started in the race of the game of the day actually. As we go down to turn four, turn five, it was just clean as uh, possible. Oh, as the Lexus goes a little bit wide, I think. But um, I, uh, the McLaren behind me gets a three-second penalty. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it just there in a frame of a second, we got a three-second penalty. But Anyway, the, it was a mistake, probably intentionally pulled him into the barrier, but you never know. But uh, off we go. We're still uh, trying to catch up to the guys above. You see there, they're still fighting, going three wide into the corner. As you see, he's uh, gone through. He tried to do a launch, but wasn't really that good, right? And uh, again, we stay in P13 as we overtook the two people behind there. So this corner right here is tricky. If you ever shoot it, you'll end up on the barrier there and you don't want that. As you see, the Aston Martin, deep, I think, dips two tires in the grass and they're trying to accelerate spins out as I hit the barrier there a little bit. But anyway, off we go. This straight, this corner here, you can just take it flat out because uh, 
it's a, it, it, they have enough downforce to do so. So I'm just chasing down the Mustang in front of me. I think, I believe, yeah. The Russian guy. Yeah. And uh, let's see if we can catch him up. This uh, race, the strategy I went for this race was um, six, six laps on the soft tire, on the medium tires, and then four laps on the soft tires. Somebody, again, a yellow flag, somebody spun out. A lot of fighting is going on, which is uh, good for me at the moment, as the Porsche is slow and I need to get through, I need to save time here. I decided, I, I wanted to go for the launch there, but it was too risky at the moment. But anyway, uh, we stay in P11 at the moment and uh, try and catch up to them and not the McLaren behind us to catch up to us. But if he is faster, they go a little, a little bit too fast. On there, as you see, also the Porsche. Oh, I'd say, hope he, he doesn't materialize by the time I'm getting to him. Oh, the McLaren is just there, right there on the right side. It's quick, you see, it's a quick car on the straight lines because that V12 is screaming as you. It sounds great, yeah. I only have a V6, I believe, turbocharged, which is not bad. It sounds great, actually. But anyway, there, there's a Corvette behind me trying to take back the position, which I'm not going to fight that much. I'm just going to let him pass by as he goes. I think he's going to go for the launch here, right? He's just right there be, be, beside me on the left side. And he does. I give him his inside. And I'm just right, right there behind me as he goes a little bit uh, suave on the exit. But then I catch, I need to just catch up on the slip stream because I am uh, in the in the verge of uh, five tenths, half a second behind him. That's where the slip stream starts getting. I mean, you see, I'm gonna start pulling into him and I'm get sucked into his, his uh, slip stream, which um, wasn't really like that great because the Porsche's right there behind me. I don't know if he, was, if he was going to go for the launch, but I just let him uh, pass through because uh, I don't wanna get a bad, accident and me sending me into the barrier oh as you see there it goes a little bit wide because these tires maybe he's been pushing too much his tires are starting to get worn out the Aston Martin is recovering really quickly it's also, it's also a good car on the straight line so it's really it's also viable in this um in this racetrack though it's a big girl it's a big girl it's a thick girl but yeah, it has the power, it has the V12 also, it has the speed. As you see, it's, it's coming close to me, as you see there on the side mirror, on the right side, it's really coming close. And I'm going to give him uh, the outside, but he doesn't go for it. And he's going to go, maybe he's going to go for the cutback. As a goal, oh, I hit the barrier there. Oh yeah, it's going to give him the position, which is not bad. There's an Alfa Romeo there behind me. We're gonna go side by side here, which is not ideal. We need to go for on a single line. So, but we made it. Nobody died. Down to P14, which is not bad. Still, uh, where I, almost where I started up from. You know, the, the Italian goes wide also. I wanna try and take him on the inside and through this corner, this flat corner. Yeah, we do make it. As a little bit of a lift there, cause. Oh, I wanted to take the slipstream of the Alfa Romeo, but... Oh, okay, the Lexus is back. There's a Mercedes here. I don't know what the Spaniard happened to him. I need, I need to get off the, a little bit. Oh, into the, between them. I don't want to sandwich them. But, yeah, it happened. The Mercedes comes back. The Lexus also comes back. I'm trying to get past. So I'm going to give him the outside. I'm going to go a little bit defensive here. But let's see if we go in turn five. Turn four, turn five. Uh, the Lexus, oh, the Lexus spins out. I just seen that in the radar. That's too bad for him. He had a good uh, battle going with me. But anyway, these two here, the Spaniard and the Italian are having a fight. And I hope it doesn't uh, affect my, my race in the moment. Because I'm just, I don't, I don't, I don't want to crash into them. I don't want to get a penalty or anything. So I see the Italian there. Spaniard is going very defensive there. And I think he was in top five, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Oh, the Italian punts him on to the Mr. Barrier. And I hold it a little bit. He gets a two second penalty. Now the Spaniard is uh, really angry. He's going to push him into the wall, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Just if for tight. 
Oh, this is not going well. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Yeah. Oh, the P1 and P2 are going in for the... P1 to P2 and P3, they're going in for their pit stops right now. As the Porsche decides to go for the launch, and I'm not going to stop him for, because um, I don't want to gain, I don't want to lose time. We just need to gain onto the guys in front of us. Even though we are losing a little bit of time, they're quicker, but at least let's get to P... P10, yeah? Above P10. I decided to go out as they go in for their pit stop. Oh, they're though in the soft tires. Oh, as the McLaren, the British guy, comes out. Oh, the soft tires. But he was in soft tires, I believe, if I'm not wrong. Oh, and a spin round. Oh, the tires. The tires are already gone. Oh, the tires gone and the... Uh, it's only medium. It's not really that hard. Because if... I, oh, I'm gonna whip it forward because... It was a... Uh, a little bit uh, eye opener. I know now. I know why people don't use the NSX because it's not really that good on the rear tires. It's a real mid. It's a mid-engine rear-driven car, and I think oh, as I almost lose it again. Yeah, it gets a little bit tail happy if you're really on to the throttle. Just um, if you're throttle happy with the triggers or trigger happy, I must say, because I'm using a controller. But anyway, um, and that's what I noticed. As you see there, it's it skids a lot. It's not really good. It's not really great on the tires. And as, now I know why not a lot of people use it. If you, yeah, there's some people that uh, go for it in the manufacturer series, but you rarely see it because the most popular cars that go for the manufacturers are like Ford, BMW, Mustang. Oh, okay, Ford is a Mustang. Yeah, Mustang is a Ford, if I, if I can say so. But yeah, we we're here in the in the final lap actually. Uh, they went down to P15, went in for my stop. But uh, that spin out in the on lap seven, lap six, yeah, lap six, lap seven was a uh, was a deal breaker because I could have gone, I could have made the undercut and uh, probably be in top ten. But then that spin uh, caused everything. As I go a little bit wide, as you see, as I said, uh, it's not really that great on the tiles. But uh, now I know. Now I need to just choose another car and uh, experiment with it, which uh, I'm going to use the BMW. I already set my mind I'm going to use these two cars for this video. But yeah, here we go, the end of the race. Was P14, I don't know what happened to him. I don't know why I slowed down there, but anyway. Uh, that was my conclusion. It is a good car, actually. It is stable, but it is viable. It is a viable car. Let me say that. But um, still, it has some question marks on the tire. Oh, sorry. As as on on the tire durability and tire conservation. But anyway, on to the next video. Uh, on the next race, actually, still starting P fifteen. And but I'm going to use the. BMW M6 because it is a big girl. I know that it is it's a V8, turbocharged V8, and uh, this this edition the work the the Walken Host 16th is the one I think that won uh, the Nurbur Green three times. I believe I'm not really sure. I, I might get my facts straight later, but you can check it up and uh, inform me. But I believe this is this was the car that won like two times or three times. In the number green, the 24 hours of the number green, the GT3 class that is. But anyway, again, as we start ahead, you see the McLaren, the V12s uh, on the top part, as we have a Jaguar there, which is um, interesting. Uh, also, it is, it is a one of those cars that is not really used at all, used that much, but it is a viable car. But you know, still things like tire wear or fuel management matter big time in the in this game. And uh, off we go. Auto drive. Oh, there's a Supra behind me. No, don't see the FT1. Don't see that all, every time. Also, that guy probably he's trying to test out the car. But anyway, off we go on the straight. Uh, for this one, I decided to go. Actually, I didn't decide. I forgot to change from the soft tires to the hard tires. But I decided, okay, let's go for the challenge. Let's see um, how good the strategy might get 
But anyway, uh, down to the first corner, not really much happening, still a single file. But if you see there in the distance, they're, they're already starting to go side by side, too wide. You see they go down to turn three. Yeah, and turn four, I decided to go in for the launch in the Ferrari because he was a little bit slow there. I see again on the Porsche. Oh, no, sorry, I'm there. Oh, as he get punts, the McLaren gets a little bit punted. It's, oh, it's close. It's really close. Going up the hill, a uh, small hill right here. The Porsche is struggling also to get through the McLarens, but they are quicker. They are quicker. There's, there's uh, South African there in front of the Italian. Oh, as I all go into the back of him, I ask somebody goes in the back of me. Okay, just a little bit of algae bargy right here. But anyway, we managed to go up to P10, P11 actually, P10, the Italian is in front of me, and the South African. It's, it looks, it doesn't look really that fast. With the, I don't think he's acquainted with the McLaren in the weird stability that it has. It is good on the straight lines, but on the corners, um, not so much. As he hits the barrier, the, oh, he goes, I go into him, the back of him. But then physics flies out the window there for a second. He gets a little bit ghosted. As I get a good run, he doesn't get a good run because, I don't know, maybe that tires from that hit. But you see, look at the speed. He's just pulling away effortlessly because of the speed that it has in the slipstream. Oh, as the Pojo goes wide, as I go into the side of him, I thought I didn't. I don't think he saw me coming in there. But anyway, up to P9, already up um, six positions or on the first lap, starting the second lap, but. So it's, it seems it's going to be a legit race. Just I'm just going to now keep the pressure on onto the South African driver right here, the German driver up there in front. Just going to show them that, um, that this big girl is coming for them. They are... Yeah, you see the... It, uh, the, the BMW is, as I noticed on the first lap, it is, it is really planted on the corners. It is a big girl, heavy, but then like, that helps a little bit, I believe, on the corners because it keeps uh, weight on the tires, so you can accelerate kind of earlier and uh, still have grip. But it also have that; it also has that massive wing behind it, so that kind of helps also. As you go up into this first S, I believe, first flowing section, down brakes. Then try to go on the outside, but then not really going to be enough. No, at least I have the slipstream. But this is going to show why the, the McLaren is one of the best in speed, straight line speed. You see, I have the slipstream on him. I can gain on him easily, as you see here, beginning on him, but he's still kind of pulling away. As I move on to the right side, uh, the slipstream is not there, but you see, he still has the top end speed. But also the top end speed on this. Um, BMW, the M6, it's not, it's not bad, it's actually great. It's almost at par, but it takes a little bit of a long time to get there. It's not really, because, you know, again, it's a big girl. It's not really that streamlined. It is a chunky, chunky boy. But anyway, oh, as I lose it a little bit there, on the third lap, I see the tire management on the car is not really that bad. It's, it's even between the front tires and the rear tires. Sometimes you find that the front tires are wearing more than the rear tires because of the brakes and everything. But I think this is a little bit more balanced. Now I see why BMW is one of the top uh, top five selected um, cars for FIA, as I believe. I, it can it can be in my top five also, because it is quick. It is quick for sure. If, if it's keeping up with this uh, McLaren, so maybe probably they are they suck at the game, but. You see, we're still seven seconds from the guys in front, so which means, yeah, I've gained on them as they, it goes wide. As you see, they, if you hit it wrong, I think it's going to go a little bit and decides to send it, which throws me off and makes me go into the grass there for a second. Oh, as you see, the French guy is here also. Yeah, that kind of a launch actually kind of saw it on, this, on the rear of a mirror because when I was breaking, he was still accelerating. 
as you go by side side by side onto that pond first that first uh, sweeping right i believe yeah as you say there he, he already has the better speed of me but as i was saying be, 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 beside that uh, incident in the second last corner of the track uh we were just seven seconds away from the from the leaders yeah and uh, which shows that the bmw can be a viable car at the moment as you see it goes a little bit deep there but i managed to take the uh the old, old switch switch road the switch back here yeah? and i uh, get the position to p8 now it's the race so far it's four positions i've already gone up on um, seven positions i believe yeah as i hit the barrier a little bit but i need to get off there before it sucks me onto mr barrier and uh lose a lot of positions anyway uh now time to hand down the french car in front of me mr F speed fred down on the brakes i thought he was going to send it again the south african behind me but i think he was too far behind for for the move to materialize and uh yeah i still keep the position but i can still see him there on the side mirror on my left side mirror as you can notice by the way i'm just noticing oh as it goes wide i just see him that oh that's that, that that's bad for him anyway that gives me space to hunt down the p7 and p6 actually it's just right there also but anyway i think i'm going to whip it forward a little bit i'm really sure or oh, going down the straight actually oh p7 goes in the german which is really early but anyway while well, sweeping it forward i did go in for my i did go in for my oh okay i can't even i can't remember what i was saying my hdhd is kicking in yeah i did go in for my pit stop change on to the medium tires and uh yeah going in for the overcut if i can say uh, made me get back into P8 where where we where we where I, where I left you guys because so far nothing much really went on through as you see there's still it's a big gap between the guys behind me and just trying to catch up to the British guy Shaka Mr. Shaka or Mrs. Shaka driver Shaka there in front of me but anyway um that was the aim of the as we start on the penultimate lap the last the second last lap of the race just trying to catch up to the guy to p7 p6 and p5 because they're in oh sorry they're in they're in within reach and um yeah this being a long race oh yellow flag some, some something's happening somebody spun out oh, and this is the german person as i am in him physics okay but will he materialize in front of me and he does but I have the inside. There's no way you're gonna have that. I still, my nose was inside there. Sorry, I just have to punch you a little bit wide. Not my intention, but you made it happen. But anyway, up P7. Okay, up seven positions, which is uh, great. I can uh, consider the race is going really uh, great. We still have 17 seconds between me and uh, P1, which is uh, P1, the Italian guy decided to pull away from everyone else i think he didn't have any any pressure on him or maybe something happened that uh pressure gave, gave away and him not oh, i was a little a little bit wide there almost did i would have lost uh, a lot of time there but anyway catching up into shaka here i still need to catch him for the slipstream but anyway we'll see what happens down the straight uh, I'm just hoping now he, he does. I mean, he does a mistake because I believe his tires are not really that great because he went in early for his his uh, pit stop. You see there, my four laps down the medium tires. I really like the mid the the medium the the the, the tire conservation as I might say on this uh, BMW because. It is even on through the front and the rear tires, so and it's actually rear wheel driven, so it's really good. And I think it's because the oh the shaka loses it a little bit, loses uh, his composure. Now time to push, now time to push him, cause uh, yeah he was a little bit slow there. He was ahead like two seconds away from him, from me, but 
now he's down to one second i believe less than second there just playing around one second uh, nine tenths of a second to 1.2 seconds ahead of me yeah he's pulling away actually because uh, the speed but in the corners i know he'll have to break break early because he'll be at a higher speed during the breaking point than i will be as you see there I come close to him as it goes a little bit, yeah, his tires are a little bit uh, worn out because he was a little bit sideways there on that corner and I'm now only 8 tenths behind him so po possibilities of getting P6 are high as you see there, he, yeah, his tires are worn he goes a little bit wide, he goes defensive but I stay on the driving line hit the apex and that was a clean pass as you see there he's struggling for grip there he starts he he's one of the people that went in early and uh turned into the soft tires which now the soft tires are really worn out and i'm on the mediums but here we come to the end of the race finishing p6 going up eight positions eight positions i believe yeah eight or nine nine positions yeah but anyway it was a good race that's what uh, P5 would have been better, but anyway, uh, I'll I'll rest for P6. As you see there, the I love the blue livery on this car though. It's so it's so my <laughs> favorite color, if I might say. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy. Please uh, tap the like tap the like button, tap the subscribe button if you're not subscribed. But anyway, see you on the next one. Peace.